channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley and I post new Disney slash DIY videos every single week and today's video is a DIY video. Um, my best friend and I actually bought these books a couple, like probably about a year, year and a half ago. It is the My Ultimate Bucket List book and what it is is there's 300 pre-selected bucket list items I mean anything from like go on a safari um, earn a medal or trophy in a competition sleep in a hammock um, really just anything and everything that you could think of or things that you wouldn't even think of and then there's also a hundred blank ones in the back where you can pick some ideas of your own um, but we got these books, um, obviously with the plan of starting it. Um, I have yet to start mine. I think she's done a couple in hers, but every time we go to try and pick what we want to do, we can never decide. So that's where this idea came in. I saw on Pinterest, it was a date night jar. However, I decided to take that and turn it into a bucket list bucket. So each popsicle stick, there's 300 popsicle sticks. I actually have two buckets because they wouldn't all fit in one. So I had to find a bigger bucket. But there'll be 300 popsicle sticks, one for each of the pre-selected bucket list ideas. And we will go through and draw one. And that's the one that we'll do. So this craft was super easy to do, super inexpensive. So we're just going to jump right into it. Okay, so for this project you are going to need paint, however many colors you want. I used four different colors. You're going to need some popsicle sticks. The jumbo kind works the best. You're going to need a paintbrush, some sharpie markers, a bucket, and your bucket list. You're going to start by taking your popsicle sticks and you're just going to paint the first side super simple it doesn't take very long they dry super fast um, I because I used four colors and there is 300 bucket list items you will use 75 of each color so I did all of one color and then moved on to the next color um, blue was the last color that I had to do so once I got all of those painted then you're going to flip them all over to do the back side like I said they dry super super quick by the time you finish painting all 25 the beginnings already dry so um, I just flip them over in their spot and then we'll paint the other side from there this, I will say, has to be one of the easiest crafts that I've done so far. And I can't wait to get started on the bucket list. Um, so now I just go through and just like uh, doing the other side, I just paint the back side. And uh, um, let it dry, which again, it doesn't take very long. So... I will say it is time consuming just because you have to do 75 of each color. Um, but I think once I finished, I really liked it. It was really cute. I just need to find a bigger bucket to put them in because that way I can put them all together. Um, so after you get them all painted, you're going to gather them all up and I put them in the bucket which like I said I have two different buckets because they wouldn't all fit into one so I put two colors in each bucket um, and then from there I kind of started taking one out to write on it um, you can do that any way that you want I was originally going to kind of do like one color means things that would take a lot of planning one color is things that are going to be more expensive 
um, stuff like that, but I don't know, going through the book, it just, it was very complicated to try and do that, but if you have your own list, you kind of know what's going to be expensive and stuff, so it would be easy to do it that way. Um, but I just started at number one and started with the first color and I wrote the number and the bucket list item. So like number one was to go skydiving. So I wrote number one and then skydive or go skydiving and then flipped it over and wrote the same thing on the other side. You don't necessarily have to write them on both sides, but, um, I just think it gives it more of a completed look if you've got it on both sides. So I just did that for the rest of the numbers and just kept going in the same color pattern. So I did blue, pink, orange, yellow, and yeah, that was, that was basically the end of it and it was super simple. I can't wait to start my bucket list. And yeah. You so that was how to make the bucket list bucket. Super easy, super simple. I cannot wait to use it and get started on our bucket list. If you would like to see kind of our adventure in our videos doing these things, let me know down below. It would be a kind of a cool little series to do and it'd be something that I could do with my best friend, uh, which makes it even better. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and just have a super magical week. Bye guys.